Hello everyone and happy weekend. It is Friday. I just got done filming with Miss Judy. We did um, a field trip, which was a lot of fun. We went to that bona fide place in Appleton. Um, I think it's like bona fide nutrition, bona fide juicery, I think is what it's called. And it was a lot of fun and I really, really like their products. So you guys should check them out. But anyway, I had to go to Walgreens because I had to get a baby shower gift and I don't know what to get because I don't know the sex of the baby yet. And so I just decided to get a car and I'm going to just give cash. So I got that. And then they also had their Luna bars on sale that I thought that I would check out. I haven't had these in like, I don't, I don't even know if I've ever had them, but in a long time. So these were on sale. This one is the nuts over chocolate. It's got nine grams of protein in it. I got two of those because, oh, they were on sale two for five. Plus I had the Wags discount, you know, because of like that family member that I know. Um, anyway, and then I also got the lemon zest because I do love a good lemon. And then I also picked up my makeup, which is the Outlast by CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade 810. And it was buy one, get one half off, um, plus a 15% discount. So I picked up two of those. And then I needed eyeliner. So I got this eyeliner. It is by, who is it even by? I don't even know. Rimmel. Rimmel London. I got a brown one and a black one. The brown one is in shade 212, which is rich brown. So it has the tip, which is like easily roll on. And then it has this end that like can smoke it out. And then I also got um, the black one. This one is in shade 261. And um, it's just, you know, your basic black or whatever. And then I also needed some mascara. So I got the Maybelline New York Volume Express Mascara. I love this. I live by it. It always does what I need it to do. I always like say, oh, I'm going to try a new mascara. And then I try a new mascara and it never compares to this. So this one is the Very Black. And then I also got, let's see, what was the other one? The Very Black. Oh, and then the Blackest Black. So picked up both of those. I don't think that these are um, waterproof because I don't like the waterproof ones because then it is such a hassle to get your makeup off um, before you go to bed at night. Like it's crazy. So yeah, so that's basically what happened today. Um, now I'm going to go home and probably make my grocery list, probably go grocery shopping because we're supposed to get eight inches of snow this weekend, which is insane. So baby shower is tomorrow. Grocery shopping is tonight. Sunday is going to be left for just like probably cleaning the house, um, and meal prep and just getting laundry and stuff like that done. Oh, you guys, I love coming home to her. Mm -hmm. We just redid her hair and she's looking all cute, fluffy, aren't you, baby? She literally, like, I come home, I sit down, she sits on my lap, and she just wants to snuggle. So then I kiss her. Hey guys, so I am getting ready to go to Best Buy. I just went to the grocery store and I didn't vlog at all there just because I wanted to get quickly in, quickly out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to Best Buy and look at their TVs. So I have like a whole list of things that I want for the TV that I'm going to get. Like I want a smart TV. I want it to be 4K, whatever that means. I want it to be over 1080 pixels. You guys know what that means or you should. Um, I want it to have Netflix and Hulu already on it with YouTube already on it and what else? And I want it to be set up so if I want to get cable at a later date, I can. So I need all of those things in all of the lands and I found a TV at Hellmart and I called just to see because um, like on the picture or whatever online, it didn't say anything about having Hulu. So I wanted to see if it had Hulu already on it or if I needed to get like a Roku to get Hulu. And the woman was like, well, you need to go to www dot whatever, like the name brand of the TV company. I forget what it was. If it was, I don't know what it was anyway. Um, and I'm just like, 
Well, I'm asking you, I'm calling you. Can you like look at the box? Can you look it up on your computer? No, I can't. Like you have to go to the website or whatever. And I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's why I'm going to Best Buy because I feel like if I get somebody at Best Buy and I ask them these questions, they're gonna know immediately right away what type of TV I want. I want it to be um, between 50 and 39 inches, somewhere in there. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. I, I'm hoping. And we're supposed to be getting this like rain slash sleet snowstorm tomorrow and Sunday. So that's why I kind of wanted to go tonight because that way um, I'll get everything like all taken care of and hopefully I'll get the TV set up for this weekend. So then that way when I'm snowed in, I'll have something to do. Okay guys, so my daughter's going to meet me here um, and she's not here yet at uh, the Best Buy, so I decided to go to Aldi, and I picked up some protein bars. They're from Elevation, which I believe is an Aldi brand, but this one is the cookie dough one. I was told that it was good. I think Daniel was the one who told me. So I got the cookie dough. It is 15 grams of protein per serving. Um, unfortunately, 200 calories, but an okay thing of protein, I think. And then I also got the chocolate peanut butter one. And this is also by the same company. And this is 180 calories and how much protein? 12 grams of protein. Um, So not too bad, about the same as the other one. So, oh my God, now I'm gonna go to Best Buy, which I do like the Best Buy over here. I'm at um the Appleton one, but the Appleton East. I like it over here better because it's not as busy and everything is new and it's not by the mall, which is a huge plus for me. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. I woke up to a huge snowstorm as you guys could see that robin was like on my window ledge and literally the birds have nowhere to go um so i was planning on going to a baby shower today i'm not real sure if we're going to be able to make it or not to be honest because of the storm but i'm going to be making a smoothie bowl this morning i'm really really watching what i'm putting in my body this weekend because weigh-in is on monday for the diet bet so in my smoothie bowl i have some almond milk um, with spinach that I'm going to be grinding up and then I'm also going to be using the Flex Flavors Peanut Butter Crunch so I'm going to put that in there along with a scoop of the Origin Organic Protein um, protein Powder whatever it is in the vanilla bean um, and then I'm going to be putting different things, different toppings on top of it. me trying to make it look pretty did not work at all so the granola fell through because the smoothie uh, bowl is too thin chia seeds are in the middle and I dropped the container that I had the peanut butter mixed in in the bowl so I mean I fished it out but yeah there it is there's my smoothie oh, bowl I'm lighting her today if I can get my lighter thingamabob working but I decided that I'm gonna be in all day so I'm going to light her. I am going to film um, a review and hopefully that will be up soon, but it won't be up until I'm done burning this candle. So this is a Harry Slatkin candle in Pina Colada, the Homeworks collection. Love it. Look at that pink color, you guys. It's so pretty. Hey guys, so it is so bright. I like can't even see um, my camera. Like, there is a lot right now of chaotic moment going on outside. I can't even begin to explain and tell you guys, like, what's going on because you probably wouldn't believe me. I don't know. You probably wouldn't believe me. So, I have robins all over the place outside wondering what the f is going on. 
the plows are coming through, but they're having a hard time like actually moving the snow because it is so heavy because there's like ice. There's ice and snow literally everywhere. If you guys hear like pelting, it's because I have um, my recording device up kind of like against the window right now. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyway, I'm getting ready to film, but before I do, I wanted to um, try this with you guys. This is the Bonafide Juicery Cold Press Organic Tax and Flush with Lemon Charcoal uh, Water and Coconut Sugar. It's 180 calories for the whole thing. They don't have the calorie count or any of the nutritional information posted online, which I was kind of surprised about. I had a call and she said that they had like all of their nutritional stuff there at the store, but when I was there, I couldn't find it. So anyway, she said that this whole thing was 180 calories, so we're not going to the baby shower today. It was canceled. Well, I don't know if it was canceled, but like literally cars are like not moving trucks are not moving outside so um my friend and i are just deciding not to go and we'll give her the gifts at a later date but anyway i wanted to try this have you guys ever done charcoal cleanses this surprisingly tastes really really good um i am hoping that this cleans out my system i already drank like almost a half a gallon of water this morning um, like I said, I'm going to have lunch and then my lunch consists of this, um, watermelon and a protein bar because like I said, I'm really, really pushing the fluids and then, um, I'm going to push more fluids tonight. So cheers, cheers to shitting. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Did you finally wake up? Hmm? you finally get up? Oh my god. I'm awake. So I woke up at 4 30 this morning. I was woken up by the dog because some freaking banshee was screaming in the hallway and I like didn't know what was going on at first. I'm like wait what? Am I like am I dreaming? Why is the dog upset? That's so weird that she's upset. And then all of a sudden I like hear this like girl screaming and like a guy and like some other people. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? And I don't know if the girl was like in distress. I don't know what happened. All I know is that I found my phone. I called 911 and the police said that they already got a call saying that something was going on. So I'm like... How long has this been going on for? It's 4.30 in the freaking morning. And we're underneath like a huge snowstorm right now. Like it's crazy outside. And they showed up. And I don't know what happened because I went back to bed. But I was happy for this little one because at least she woke me up. I probably wouldn't have gotten up if it weren't for her. Guys, is it normal for me to share my watermelon with my dog? Like, this this happens. She's loving it. Hey, you guys. So I just got done filming two videos. My Shake It Off with Angela and then the Harry Slatkin. Oh, my God. There's still some styrofoam in the candle, but oh, it smells so good. Four wick, you guys. Four wick. Um, but anyway, we're still getting the snow. Um, I don't know how much snow we've gotten so far, but it looks like a crazy nut house outside. Like it almost looks like a ghost town because the only people who are out right now are the people who are plowing, um, and trucks. I don't see any cars outside or anything. So I cleaned my car off. I want to say yesterday late afternoon and, um, I just, left it. So I'm going to go outside right now and clean off my car, start it up. Um, I only have a fourth of a tank of gas in there. I was going to get some before um, I came home the other day on Friday night and I didn't. So I'm hoping that everything is fine. I'm going to start it up again today and then 
Um, hopefully, if I can get out, Monday morning is when I'm going to um, fill the, the tank up again and things. But plows are out. School's canceled for tomorrow. My work closed today being Sunday. I don't know what's going to happen, you guys. Um, the mayor of my city declared it a city of emergency. We are in blizzard conditions. It's it's literally crazy. It's insane. Um so I hope everyone is safe that is living in Wisconsin or Minnesota. I think those are the two states that are getting um, this severe so snowstorm. And they call it Snowstorm Evelyn, so they did name it. When they name it, you know it's bad. Hey, y'all. So I know it's like severely bad lighting right now going on. But let me just see if I can darken this up a little bit. Not any better. So we got 18 inches of snow. Plus, we're getting three more tonight. So that makes, if my math is correct, 21 mother <laughs> inches of snow. So I cleaned my car off, I would say, yesterday by like, mm, by the way, I'm making tension tamer tea because I am tense. She is tense. Um, so I cleaned my car off yesterday, I would say like after dinner. And um, I moved it out and then I like moved it to a different location. And since then we got like, I don't know, 15 inches of snow. So I was stuck and my work opens up. Usually it opens up at like 4.45 in the morning. But tomorrow we are opening up at 10 a.m. in the morning and all like classes and everything is resuming at 10 so that means that I need to be to work or leave here probably by like 9 30. Well problem is is that they are not plowing like the city is telling people even the plows stay off the road until it stops snowing and we're supposed to get three more inches of snow tonight. So there's no plows our um our parking lot is not plowed at all, and they're not going to do so until noon tomorrow. So I don't know what to do. I'm like frantically like trying to figure shit out. So anyway, I go outside. I shovel, shovel, shovel for literally like an hour. I just shoveled like the back end. But what I forgot was that my tires in the front were completely covered, and I had to like literally shovel like under the car on both sides of the car. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So anyway, so I shoveled both sides. I shoveled in back of all four tires and my whole front car, like the front side of my car with the um, exception of the windshield because I cleared that off with the defrost was covered in snow. Like snow was literally like I would say mm, waist deep maybe or like tit deep. Snow was tit deep. So I got out miraculously I got out it took me like an hour and a half so that was my exercise for today <sighs> but I got out so needless to say I'm going into work tomorrow at 10 o'clock thank the baby Jesus because I didn't want to get in trouble but I mean there's like a major disaster going on here so like what is a girl to do so anyway you guys right now I got my tension tame a tea and I'm I'm trying to relax. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Try to at least. It's like 9.30. Um, after I'm done drinking my tea, I'm going to go to bed and relax and try to unwind and wake up tomorrow and weigh in for my diet bet and be under my, my pound goal and just be thrilled with life because life is grand, y'all. Life is wonderful. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go follow me on All Orifices. Um, go subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell. I will see you guys all later. Please pray for us. The city has completely shut down. We are in SOS, state of emergency. It is the biggest storm, they said. We've got the biggest storm since 1906. And we got it in April. Oh my God.